I took a drink a lot closer to uh, talk time than I thought. Not surprised. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. How is everybody tonight? Yes, I'm, I'm fine. How is Trey tonight? I'm good. <laughs> hey, Ryan. <laughs> hey, you, Trey. Uh, you shut me down last time, so I figured I'd ask permission. Um, I've got a headline. I um, wanted to ask if it was okay to speak on it. I think on behalf of everybody listening, we would love to hear a Trey headlines. Because I think people at this point are like... A tray, tray headlines headline. coming. That's in fact, if yeah, if you looked at our listen time, it's probably just like a minute and a half. So yeah. they get to your headline and they're out. I think they missed something on this headline. Honestly, it says Grub Grubhub driver. And it probably should say Florida Grubhub driver claims delivering cup of urine instead of milkshake was an accident. <laughs> instead of a milkshake. I'm sitting here thinking how cold a milkshake is in your hand. <laughs> urine is not cold. That's Compared right. To that's, a cup of urine. I wasn't thinking about the temperature. I was thinking about the 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 color and the the the, the, the texture. See the <laughs> yeah, weight. Yeah. The, yeah the, uh, what kind of cup were they using? No, not the, to know is the, pee. The density. The density. I think that would be the right. That's term. a big word. So he he gave some people some pee and thought it was a milkshake. Thought it was a milkshake. He said it was an accident. Um, well. Pfft. Well, and of course, the questions said, why did he pee in the cup to begin with? So I'm sitting here thinking, if you're delivering my food, why are you stopping to pee in a cup? Is this old pee? Is well, this who, new pee? Who orders a milkshake on DoorDash or whatever? This is this Grubhub. Is. Grubhub. <laughs> yeah. Who, I mean, you know, if I'm sitting here going, hmm, I want a milkshake, let me get Grubhub. Do you but, get free delivery with urine? Does that? <laughs> yeah, here's here's a cup of urine and your delivery is free. One, one of the comments said, this is a piss poor excuse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to laugh at. I don't want to laugh at that. But I. I did. I did. I so did. It says when your ex, your ex's new boyfriend orders a milkshake to her place and you get the order. Oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? You know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop you right here for a second, Trey. You know, the first couple shows that we've since uh, uh, deleted from existence, maybe. We were told that we talked a lot about urine. Pee pee poo poo, pee pee poo poo, and all of a sudden, it's like it's it's like it finds us. We're back. You're in, I think with, with the last show, or not not the last show, but the show before about somebody getting uh, nut allergies through <laughs> matter and farting. And, <laughs> what are the odds of that happening? Yeah, but, Golly. You know, but, but, but you know what? That's what we do, and um, and it's not just a, a smut. This is like. We're learning stuff. Absolutely. Through yes. all this. Yes, I would agree with that. Anyway, uh, so that's... <laughs> what do you say? Grubhub, not DoorDash. Grubhub, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to stay with DoorDash. Which... I think I use DoorDash. What do you use? I don't use them at all. I just go pick up my damn own damn food. Because <laughs> I don't know if you've ever driven by some of these cars, but these are some beater-looking cars, man. Yeah. And it's just like, do I really want my food hanging out in those cars? I'm not going to lie. I'm always kind of worried about... I swear, every time there's been anything I order that has French fries, like half of them are gone. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't the bags usually sealed up well, or no? Well, usually, but okay. sometimes it doesn't look like See it's See a little hole fully, on the yeah. side? <laughs> <laughs> One time, uh, an animal got my food because it took me like five minutes to go get it. And I come out, I, I was like, where's my food? And I look out in the yard and the bag is spread. Oh, I'd be pissed. Uh, yeah, I was just like... Oh, yeah. There were so many times in my old apartment, I would come home and at the the door to get into the building, there was orders sitting out there, and I felt so oh. bad. There's there was a couple times there was an order sitting in front of my door, and I left it there thinking, okay, maybe the person will realize because there was two of the same apartment numbers, one in one building, and one in another building. I was thinking maybe they'll just come over and grab it. No, yeah. next morning I got up and it was still there, so I threw it away. So yeah, well, I hope you didn't eat it. No. Yeah, I don't know. That's the one thing. I feel like you got to be in a house. I don't know how I could do it to an apartment, but anyway, you know, who cares about about, <laughs> about, about d uh, delivery food? So next time, um, check your milkshake before you drink it. Yeah, Apparently. I just feel like you would know before you even took a sip that that was not a milkshake. It was but, not a milkshake. Uh, but anyway, uh, Trey, let me ask you a question. Please? What if I was to call you a marshmallow minion? <laughs> Uh, Do you feel that that was racist? <laughs> so honestly, Ryan, I, I feel like you're calling me a little doughy, and I work out very hard. I feel like that's kind of a cool marshmallow minion. Like, but I, and I'm—I mean, we're both six foot. Yeah. Are we really considered minions? 
That's true. Well, but I don't think a minion is means many. I think minion means like evil. Oh, okay. That's true. <laughs> Because I'm thinking about those okay. little yellow. Right, let's move on. I have guys. too many of these. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> we can't analyze these individually. <laughs> well, we can. Have you met me? Just an entire show of this. <laughs> uh, if you haven't figured it out yet, I, I we had such a great response to uh, that lovely young lady that came lovely. up with all of these white slurs that I thought I'd throw a few more of them I at like you. It. And I, this time I analyzed them before. Some of before I picked some them. Some of them. <laughs> Uh, I just thought it would be interesting if somebody called you, uh, hey, tidy whities <laughs> Tidy whities Okay, that okay. seems lazy. Yeah, lazy. How about, <laughs> how about, um, I don't even know how, how you have this much time. How about uh, you uh, baking soda snow monkey? <laughs> baking soda snow monkey. Uh, that's, that's, I like it. There's a lot of white in that. That's a lot, a lot of, of white. white. Okay. <laughs> how about... This is these are some, there's something I don't understand. How about what is dry chicken muncher? <laughs> dry chicken are, muncher. Is she implying that white people only eat dry chicken, but black people eat like nice juicy chicken? That's like, messed up. I like a juicy. Uh, fried I was a chicken. little bit offended by that one. <laughs> That's some bullshit right there. I was fine with all the others until I got to dry chicken because I don't like dry chicken. No one does. I don't either. Okay. No. So we're in agreement. How about this one? You are iPhone light mode. <laughs> you're, you're the light mode, like the. She's got way too much time you, so on if her you're in dark <laughs> So if you're like in the dark mode, that I, I'm just saying, I like the dark mode. So come at me. How is this fair? So if if me and you sat down and said, you know what, we're going to come up with some racial slurs A to Z for any other ethnicity. We all know how My it would go. God, we would be destroyed. How does this lady get away with this stuff? And it's just, it's funny, but well, still. Without being too mean, a lady seems a little a little nice. I, I, she just seemed, anyway. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, if we got into that, I, it wouldn't be as fun because I, I just think that the people like this, just whatever. So I I'm think ha- it's funny. Yeah. I'm having fun with her deal. And I think everyone else, I don't think it went the way she thought it was going to go. I think everybody, a lot of people are doing what we're doing, which is like, okay. Making fun. Well, it's like you call me any one of these things so far. I have two at the end that got me a little bit. And I'm going to tell you what that, and, and it still makes no sense. Um, how about, uh, how about light mayonnaise? <laughs> How do you get uh, yeah. light mayonnaise? So what's the difference? Is one whiter than the other? Like if you just called me mayo or mayonnaise, like but she, but the, she was specific. It was Maybe like, she needed an L. It was light there. mayonnaise. Maybe that's what it was. She just needed the L. But I don't like light mayonnaise. I'm kind of uh, upset by yeah, that. Yeah, that was kind of dumb. Cornstarch Crusaders. <laughs> <laughs> and she, you, know, you see, she's getting a lot of the Crusader conqueror, like this whole European thing. That would have uh, been a good like fantasy football name. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I think we got to start using Morning these. Starch Crusader. I think it's time to retire my Aspen White skin. Yeah, uh, someone's going to get upset about it. I'm still, I'm still a fan of the yogurt yodelers. So that's you're still your number one. That one seems kind of homophobic. What do you think? I think it's a little of everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a little... Still uh, my favorite. So, okay, so right now that's your favorite. Yeah. I want to get a t-shirt th- made with that one. I think I still like Children of the Chalk. That was... <laughs> no, I like Cauliflower... Con- anyway, the next one, this one... <laughs> <laughs> sour Cream Citizens. Oh! <laughs> sour Cream Citizens. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like, I like sour cream. I like sour cream. And I'm a citizen... Throw that on a good taco. Where's the problem? I don't see it. Okay, move on. These are the ones that got me. These are the ones I finally said, you know what? I don't need to be called a dandruff clump. <laughs> dandruff clump? <laughs> That's not very nice, is it, That's Trey? not nice. How about Mayflower? We all know what the Mayflower is. It's a boat, The right? boat with the pilgrims, white people coming over. Okay. The Mayflower maggots. That's kind of rough. That's tough, right? Yeah, that's a tough one. If she walked up to me and said that, I'd probably be really upset. I would. And I would protest. And probably write a letter. Yeah, yeah, write a letter to somebody. Go so, loot a building, maybe. So, um, <laughs> you said it, not me. Those are the ones for tonight. I thought those <laughs> were pretty funny. That is good. Those are good, right? Yeah. Children of the chalk. I, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I want to be addressed as children of the chalk. Or or if you already kind of like the cauliflower conqueror, I'll take that one. That one's too. good. I, and you're going to stay with, with the yogurt, uh, yogurt yodelers. yodelers. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Take me away from there. Um, 
I told you I get my uh, chocolate marshmallow. <clears throat> my daily email, not only from from Chris about the World War II, <laughs> but um, is he still giving you World War Two information? Oh yeah. <clears throat> so Arnold, uh, I get oh. my Arnold email that I get every morning, and my girlfriend actually reached out to make sure I read this one. <laughs> and of course, I did. What did she get him too? Yeah. Oh, she's the I one need, that turned me on to him. Oh, I need you turned. Wait, she turned. You're she turned, turned on, me on by to Arnold? the the email. Oh, okay, all right. I Take thought Jason thing. Satham might be taking it. No, back door. No, no. <laughs> to Arnold. <laughs> God, I love when they write themselves. Well, wow. anyway, go ahead. So this one was called the Big O, <laughs> and okay. um, I guess, and maybe I should have watched the. Um, or read the previous one, but he said, last week we answered a question from the village about whether sex makes you weaker in the gym. And so this is supposedly, yeah, if you have, like, athletes won't have sex before a game. Right before. And, um, yeah. So, and I felt this not too long ago. Mm. Anyway. Um, we, okay. He we said. Get, we get it. You, you got laid. Good job. A, a better question might have been if having more sex can help you live longer. So I like, I like I that like, question. Let me, let me look into this. It okay. said, the scientists analyzed data from more than 900 men. How are we not in this this group? Well, we need to figure out who's... Did uh, we not answer an email who or the, who's click this, on who, Well, who's the selection committee? I, I We need to figure this out. I want to be part of this group. Anyway. Yeah. Screw all these advertising videos I'm doing. We just need to put a video out that says, any, whoever knows the selection committee for these donate. <laughs> I want to be part of this. We're, we're in. See? So... Oh, maybe it's because it was aged. 40, we just turned forty-five, so this was oh. aged forty-five to fifty-nine. So we didn't make the cut yet. Oh, they, yeah. They well, and we look so young. They were yeah. like, these guys can't possibly make. Can't do it. Range. So this was uh, over ten years. They did this research, and the results show that having sex at least twice per week. Wow. Um, significantly, significant. That's a big word. Well, the twice a week thing got you. <laughs> yeah. So sex twice a week at least. Uh, lowers the risk of cardiovascular events such as heart attack or stroke. Okay. So are you, all the men that are listening right now, how many of them are going to go to their wives or girlfriends or significant others and say, hey, babe, don't you want me to live longer? Oh, I've already told her all sorts of different things. <laughs> to get that there? But I'll add this to the list now. Yeah. For sure. So, so yeah, I'm thinking, well, shit, all the times I, you know, I was married and didn't have sex. Is that you know? Does that take years off your life at that point? Did you have <laughs> take it off? Did you did you have good years though or no? Is it kind of like it was mm. all before marriage? Okay, yeah. All right, so there were more years of bad than good. So I'm sitting here thinking, fuck, I am yeah, screwed. Yeah, you are fucked. But I kept reading. Oh. So some of the little scientific bullshit. Sex releases endorphins, which can reduce stress and promote a sense of well-being. All, all what I try and tell my wife. Additionally, regular sexual activity has been linked to improve cardiovascular health, increasing blood flow, and improving vascular function. I'm like, okay, this is all great. Yeah. But what, what about the guys that aren't having sex? So it kept I feel going. like you're leading somewhere. Yeah. So the research was not a cause and effect study. So more sex is not a guarantee of longer life, but if you want to know the longevity boosting potential, according to a study, two orgasms a week. Two orgasms. Boom. Two orgasms. Regardless a week. of of. Uh, okay, so not sex. It's not or- sex. So two was orgasms. Arnold was Arnold saying sex or was he saying? Orgasm? Well, initially it says sex. Oh. So I thought I'm fucked here, wow. but it says according to the study, two orgasms a week were associated with 68% lower mortality than those who had less than one orgasm oh. per month. Oh, whoa. whoa. So my God, I'm gonna. I'm that person that is going to live to 200, and I didn't even realize it. Because, I mean, there was a times I was having two or three a day, so I'm stacking years right now. You were having, um, what, what, what did you call it, self-love? Is yeah. That, okay, okay. Yeah, you self-love. Were, you, were, you, were, you might not be having sex, but you were having uh, the big O. The big O. I was taking care of the big O. So, so. <laughs> it says, if you're into goal setting, around 100 orgasms a year may add three or more years to your life. And 700 orgasms could increase your life expectancy by up to eight years. My God. I, I mean, I have more goals now. I mean, everybody has goals in life, Trey. And I think you've just now inspired not only myself, but any uh, men listening. I mean, I'm going to walk around stroking yeah, all you're, day. You're, you know, <laughs> I'm ready to roll. Yeah, what are you about to go do? Uh, extend my life. If it- <laughs> 
I mean, if somebody stops him, I said, listen, yeah. Arnold said it's okay. So just back off. Yeah. If, <laughs> public display. I may need to figure out how worry, to go I'm lefty because yeah. I may get wore out. God. But I'm, I'm trying to extend my life, Ryan. <sighs> so, yeah. Okay. Well, good for you. You're welcome, guys. If anybody doesn't remember, we did a show where we talked about the person that the first person to live to 200 has already been born, according to scientists. That's me. And apparently now it is Trey once he found out that two orgasms a week, which is nothing. I mean, that you, nothing, you probably yeah. knocked that out on the way over here. <laughs> So in traffic, in tra- yeah, in traffic. Um, so, <laughs> so overall, I think that you've uh, brought some good knowledge to the yeah. to the listeners. Tonight. You're welcome, fellas. Basically, people orgasm as much as you can. I I, I don't even need to, Arnold to tell me that. I, it just makes people happy. Yeah, I can't imagine somebody has an orgasm and they're like, I feel worse. Yeah, <laughs> about everything. I feel worse. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. All right, well. <laughs> Thank you, Arnold, and thank you, Trey. You're welcome. (laughs) Trey, get your hand out of your pants. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, (laughs) again, segue. Let me give you a quick update here. Um, We talked not long ago. We did a tribute for, of course, uh, the wonderful Matthew Perry. Yes. And we also did a tribute for two other individuals that kind of got overshadowed by Matthew. One was uh, the uh, Bobby the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember when that picture popped up. <laughs> well, look, Bobby needed Bobby needed some. Uh, you know, I don't know what made me forget that we talked about yeah. this dog, and then it just popped up, and I don't know what made me. Laugh, I but. am equal opportunity death <laughs> uh, uh, tributes. So Bobby, but then thir- uh, lastly was um, was a gentleman. He was a hockey player, and, he, and his name was Adam Johnson. And he played for my team, the Penguins, for a while, and then he was over in the UK and he was playing. Well, apparently, and I told, I think I mentioned it on there that usually when you come across in hockey, I'm trying to make this quick, you come across in hockey and you, and you have kind of a, a front-to-front collision that can cause both of your bodies to kind of like flail in the air and the legs and the skates fly up in the air and, you know, go kind of, you know, all over the place and people can get hit by skates. Yeah, I was trying to picture this when you told me last time. It's like how you collide like that and just flail. You yeah, know, it just and half crazy. of it's trying to get out of the way, maybe or, yeah. or move. And it's not like if you hit like one hundred percent dead on, that, yeah. that wouldn't happen. But it's it's guys trying to, you know, guys' knees get taken out when they're when they end up trying to move away from another yeah. knee, and then all of a sudden their their knees left vulnerable. And so it's kind of like that. Like they kind of half move from each other, and then boom, the legs are up in yeah. the air. Yeah. Well, upon further review, uh, and people were calling for this right away, and I kind of shrugged it off. And then I went back and I looked at it closely. And, and uh, the gentleman whose skate hit Adam's neck, name is Matt Petgrave, a 31-year-old. And apparently, I won't go too far into this, but the people are accusing him of, of intent. And he has been arrested for... Um, uh, unintentional manslaughter How, what's the right word uh, uh it's manslaughter but it's unintended yeah uh, and, well and, and i, I meant to ask you about that too because I, I did see that pop up saying they were yeah. going to arrest him and i was just uh, involuntary manslaughter involuntary thank um you. and i was like how did this happen because when, when you explained it to me the first time i was like you know it's a, it seems like an accident but you're saying the video shows something different i went and looked and and there was no hit before his body it, before his legs went up in the air, it was almost like, and again, this is alleged. I'm not claiming to uh, uh, say one way or another. I don't know the intent, uh, uh, Mr. Petgrave. I don't have an issue with him. But, but the video looks but bad. the video looks bad, it, and it doesn't. It doesn't mean that he was trying to kill the guy. It doesn't mean he was trying to kill Adam Johnson. But if you're trying to hurt a guy because of maybe earlier, as we all know in sports, you have an earlier, you know, that in hockey we call it, you know, you, you got the number. You mark, yeah. you mark the, nugget, the guy who's skating away who just gave you the big hit. Retaliation. And maybe there was some sort of a something happened between the two and and, wow. he, and he went and acted like he was kind of hit and he flung his legs up and, and with the intent to maybe just kind of kick him in the chest, pad, the chest or the shoulder pad, something like that. But he... All These sudden, skates are sharp, right? Well, of course they are. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the edges of the skates are sharp, not the, not the very bottom, but the edges of the bottom. Right. If that makes any sense. And so, he was arrested. I mean, they they've got him now, and they're gonna they're gonna uh, 
go to trial. And, of course, he was not in the lineup tonight or, or last night. Yeah. <laughs> Neither was Adam, Adam Johnson. <laughs> I hate to say it. And but, one of them and made so that all game. the all the all the crowd uh, of for um, Matt Petgrave tonight was obviously giving him you know support and chanting his name and in, in, in a positive way and it's just kind of like how do you know unless he admits it I mean I mean what if he how, could he have tripped could he have this could he have that I mean is there a way and I looked at it and as a hockey player or a guy that's played. Um, a lot and, and studies the game. I'm just kind of like well, looking at this going, it doesn't look good. Uh, there's no reason that his legs would go that high and go that. It, it, I mean, there was intent. It looked like there were. And obviously, you watch a ton of hockey. So, I, I mean, watched, have you ever <laughs> seen something like this before? Like that. As, as well, far as, I mean, not leading to obviously somebody dying, but have you ever seen somebody lead with a skate? I've seen skates go up in the air, but completely accidental, and it was obvious that gotcha. it was accidental. Okay. This one looked, and of course, oh, I assumed it was the same thing. Yeah. And then, and then all, all of a sudden, when I heard about this, I went back, and I was like, oh, no, that doesn't look good. So You said you don't know if this guy has any history of being a uh, dirty player or anything? I don't know that. I would. Hey, I don't want to like... Um, speculate? Speculate on that, because I don't know for sure, and... Um, and well, you know, well, I'm, I'll keep an eye on it, but I just wanted to update you. We did this big tribute. We said, oh, it's all accidental. Oh, poor Adam. Yeah, that's and horrible. I can't imagine. I think we even talked. I can't imagine how it would feel if we were that guy. Yeah. Well, let's wait and see. Maybe that guy needs to uh, wow. to uh, spend a little time thinking about what he did. But again, I, I don't believe for, I can't believe that there would be a guy that meant to, like meant to kill him. I'm going to raise my skates, yeah. slit his throat and kill him. I'm about to say anybody that knows how, how sharp these skates are, would be a hockey player. Like if right. my dumbass, you know, decided to kick at somebody, I don't know how sharp they are. I do I'm just stupid, but obviously he knows how. Well, and lots of people have are. been cut by skates and, but it's not going to kill you. Right. And so maybe there was just this, maybe it was quick. Maybe it was a split second, like, Oh, I'm mad. And he just threw his legs up. And, don't um, give him his defense. He can't say he was. I I I don't know. So anyway, that's crazy. That's yeah, sad so I wanted if it to, is. yeah, I wanted to update you. So check this out. I'm going to talk to you about Taylor Swift, Simone Biles. Oh wow. Travis Kelsey. Okay. We're talking a lot of sports on this show. Uh oh yeah. I mean that's <laughs> <laughs> that's what we were supposed to do. I thought. Um. And then a gentleman by the name of, uh, <laughs> this shows you how big he is. That's, that's part of the problem. Jonathan Owens. Have you heard of Jonathan Owens? I have not. Okay, well, he's dating. Should he's, I? He's married to Simone Biles. Do you know who Simone Biles is? I do know Simone Biles. Okay. Is. Get this. And this, this got Who's me. Who's this other gentleman? This got me. Uh, Travis Kelsey? No. The- <laughs> Jonathan John, oh, he, oh, I'm sorry. You, you, that's how much you don't know him. Yeah, I don't know him. Who's he, he? He's a safety for the Green Bay Packers. Okay, move on. We're good. Okay. That's, I don't know him. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's the point. You know Travis Kelsey. I know Travis best Kelsey. Best tight end in the league. In and, the league, and, probably and, ever. And he, yeah. and he has a, a personality. He does those Fiverr Vax commercials. He's gotten into it with Aaron Rodgers. They, you know, he's... He's a personality. You know right. this guy. Oh, absolutely. This Jonathan Owens, I, I, I'm sorry, kudos. You're an NFL safety. That's great. That's impressive, Mary yeah. Simone Biles, great. But I don't know who you are. There was a, a bunch, there's a bunch of articles, and there's one in particular that I that I, I kind of want to call it, call out the writer on because I was so fired up about it. Um, would you believe it if I told you that they are claiming that Simone Biles, who, if anybody doesn't know, was is probably the, considered the greatest gymnast in the world, and she won us numerous medals for the Olympic team in, gym, in gymnastics. Not that there's anything wrong with gymnastics, but it is gymnastics. <laughs> and she... Go ahead. And I was going to say, did she bring a lot of attention to mental health with athletes and stuff she like did. that recently? She did. She'd done some things. Right. Oh, and she'd done a great. Look, love her. She's amazing. But they're claiming that when at, during a Green Bay Packers game and a Kansas City Chiefs game, two separate games, there was not enough attention paid to Simone Biles compared to Taylor Swift and that it's because of race. 
Wow. The headline reads, and this is what got me right away. And this I, is the writer, or is this Simone Biles? Well, no, no, this this isn't Simone Biles. Okay, far, this as far is the as I understand. Okay, I, I, I don't. Please don't tell me because I I respect the hell out of Simone Biles, and I don't want her to start into this garbage. But she didn't seem like that type of person. No, and and and, and, you know, <clears throat> and honestly, Taylor probably doesn't either. But but maybe Travis Kelsey would like to get stirred up in some because he likes the attention of it. Right. But, and again, this is just an article and, and as a writer myself, I understand that you're looking for clicks. I get it. But this one's really bad. One, one is the greatest gymnast of all time while the other isn't even the greatest pop star of all time, which you might argue at this point. I wouldn't say of all time, but she's got to be uh, one of the most popular stars right now. Well, I mean, when it's all said and done, I mean, have you seen the craze at this these tour? Is right. I mean, it's insane. But I mean, and honestly, yes, uh, a gymnast is 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 cool. You know, you win some Olympic medals, sure. but what kind of attention? I mean, you're going to get well, more attention on a pop star than you are a, a gymnast. That's what, I mean, and that's what we'll talk about. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'm sorry. I mean, no, no, don't apologize because that's the that's what everybody's probably thinking. Like, okay, yeah. really. It's kind of like when we talked about in a different way the men's and the women's soccer team. It's about I mean, Simone Biles has brought, like you said, causes and all these things. She brought us a lot of Olympic medals. Fantastic. I enjoyed watching her as much as I know about gymnastics. I watched her. She's not even dating a football player that people know. Right. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Travis Kelsey makes a lot more money. You know, yeah. So it's, it is about the money. It's about the fame. It's about, what, I mean, how many followers does one have versus the other? But the last part of it, it says, one is the greatest gymnast of all time, while the other isn't even the greatest pop star of all time. She's just America's white sweetheart. Wow! About Taylor Swift. So I'm going to talk about it, and and I don't I don't care. Uh, I'm I'm tired of 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 cushioning things when it comes to race. Why did Why was that I'm just necessary? tired of? It. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm, well, it's not just this writer. This was just the one that stuck out to me. This is a debate. This is like people. Was this? Sorry, was this no. a game between the Chiefs? No, and the, okay. Like I said, it was because I mean, think about the teams too. Because the Chiefs right now are, are hotter than the Packers, well, so I, more people are going to watch the damn Chiefs than they are the Packers anyway. And they were talking about the Chiefs had like <clears throat> two million more per game female viewers because it's Tay Tay and all this stuff. Which fine. The point is, is that she's <laughs> that's it's her. I mean. Think so, of Simone Biles isn't bringing two million people in extra. She's just not. Of, it's not like she's dating. Simone Biles is dating uh, Jordan Love, maybe. right? Or or yeah, or the you know, yeah, some some guy that people actually know. Um, it, it, yeah. The the things it it's 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 absurd, and it's the fact that it's not just one article. It's just like it was a huge debate, and I'm surprised you haven't heard about this. No, that's, yeah, that's it, it ended up being a debate, really. Oh, oh, it's still going on. And so, uh, by the way, the Chiefs and Packers mm. play each other in Week 13. So, oh, okay. Um, everyone's like, well, let's we'll see what happens. Yeah. And I get, I, I wouldn't be surprised if whichever broadcasting company was like, we just hit Biles. We're just not even going to mess with it. We'll just get some home Biles. Well, is this writer, is it, I mean, is it a well-established writer? Or no, is it somebody this, that's no, trying to no, this is a, make a name? Um, I'll just say no. I'm not going to throw this person on the bus because, I, you know, I know what it's like to, I guess, try and get click clickbait um, or to put clickbait bait out there. But uh, it's not a... Like an ESP, it's not an well ESPN writer. It's not, isn't it, you know, not a big publication. But it's there are there are enough of these articles out there that I'm sure some of them do. Uh, you know, they just didn't have quite the the direct hit headline that I wanted to bring up. Gotcha. But so one of her her points was, <laughs> this is the comedic part of it. How dare we not give more props to Simone Biles? She just completed the. Your Kencho double pike, which has never been done before. This was at the Packers game. <laughs> just right there, she's, she's like, I just have this. I feel like it's time because I would watch that. <laughs> but the point is, no one knows what the fuck that is at all, at all. And so, who cares? A bunch of flips, and right? A bunch of something, little twists and, in and, there. And good for her because I would break my neck. You would break. We we would. Who cares? Yeah. But good for her. The point is, she's not Taylor Swift. She's not selling out arenas. She's not dating Travis Kelsey esque right. type player. And this is so stupid, right? I mean, I don't even think I need to go any further. It's just so. She even threw a third example. She goes, Russell Wilson, who, by the way, is getting up there 
and he had a really bad year with Denver, and he's yeah. not playing like old Russell Wilson. Right. He's dating Ciara. <clears throat> They don't get it, uh, any head, any airtime either. Well, Russell Wilson's kind of boring. He's though. Boring. No one cares about them yeah. anymore. They're, they're not. It's not. And who's Ciara? Yeah, thank you. Is she a? Is I, she a I model? know is that she a I know that she's a singer. Singer. That's all okay, I know. She's a singer. Okay. But that's all I know. I didn't know that. You know Taylor Swift. You know what she does. You know what what craze she has. Yeah. You know. I mean, people are killing for the tickets. Probably in the streets. Uh, our female population is probably going way down because people have died <laughs> trying to get tickets for these Taylor, damn things. Taylor Swift tickets. Uh, I think half the looting was because of <laughs> Taylor Swift. <tickets. laughs> and so, uh, and I'm looking at clips now of her in the press box and high fiving Mahomes. You know, yeah, there you go. Brittany Mahomes doesn't even she doesn't do shit, but because she <laughs> she's dating Patrick Mahomes, she gets notoriety. And now I have a feeling if Simone Biles was dating like. Maybe Lamar Jackson, or there might be a little more. But you know, even if it wasn't quite to that, why are we measuring this? Who yeah. gives a shit? Yeah, and and is it about race? Is it really about race? I don't think it's. I, I let's, can't. Let's I see. would like to think it's not. Let's see Taylor Swift date Lamar Jackson and Simone Biles. That would date, be cool. Date somebody else, and and then and you couldn't say that. Yeah, and that's probably what would happen. And it's so stupid that you would think you know. Again, I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to like hold back anymore about this stuff. This is stupid. This is the part of. I'm going to bring it. I'm going to make it serious before I move on. This is part of the reason that this country has so many issues with race. Yes. With race, I agree. Do you not think we have other racial problems in this country that we could actually right. talk about? Versus Taylor Swift and Kelsey getting more airtime during a football game than whoever the hell the Packers guy is. That's the point. I don't Nobody know knows the name. Packers guy. Yeah, and, and, and Simone Biles, who, by the way, did she, was she even in, was she the last Olympics or was she like before that? I mean, she, I haven't I don't seen remember. the World Gymnastics Championship that happened like two months ago. No one gives a shit about. I, I, I if that's the last thing I would have known happened two months ago, yeah. and that's not to take away from her at all. She's fantastic at what she does. Right. She just doesn't do something that draws a lot of attention. That's it, right? And she's not dating somebody that and she's not dating that's even known. If she's dating one of the boys from Staying the Great Podcast, then things may be a little different for her. <laughs> she may get some uh, some some more attention. A little bit more pub. That's right. That's so funny. I I wanted to bring that up and and I again I'm just gonna move on from it because but it, but I just I had to I had to say this is the kind of shit that's causing problems with race. It's it's a small example, but it's it's a one of many where people are playing the race card. And you're taking away, and then I'll end, you're taking away from true racism. Right. You're taking away from you being able to use that word the right way. Right. And, and with this kind of bullshit, uh, it, 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 it downplays it. It negates kind of the, the intent. So yeah. Let's, let's, let's move on. Do you... Do you as I like to say, what do I like to say? Take me, take me away from this. Take me away from this shit. <laughs> Sorry, I got fired up. By the way, Chiefs Packers in Week 13. Let's uh, don't think, think Trey and Simone I won't be. Simone and Taylor's going to be sitting next to each other. We're going to have an over under on who, sh- how many times they show each. How about each, that? Yeah. When when the fuck is the, the in week week 13? That's what two two weeks. I can't believe we're already in week 13. I know. Week well, week 11 is next week. So. Wow. Anyway, so I came across a story and. <laughs> You and your stories. I love them. The headline immediately jumped out at me because I'm thinking, who cares, right? So it said, author comes out as transgender man. I'm thinking, okay, why is this a story, really? Mm. You know? Everybody seems to be. So if if me and you come out, like, if we get popular enough to say, you know what? Um, Trey ate at McDonald's today. You know? It's I thought you were like, going to say you're going to come out as a <laughs> and transgender. And I came out as a transgender man. <laughs> <laughs> We knew it. You're going to rethink all those times <laughs> I came over and laid in your lap. Anyway, uh, I read into this a little bit more. Okay. Um, so it says, Rowan Jet Knox, formerly known as Amanda, announced on his social media uh, that he was reintroducing himself as a, uh, as a, where is it at? <laughs> Sorry, as a trans man. I missed that line. Sorry. So the, reintroducing there, himself. There weren't a lot of options there. You yeah. could probably just got it. Well, I, the stupid commercial popped <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah. And Knox's wife, okay. Zoe, was previously known as Mark, but came well, out well, as... Well, slow down. So the one man who's coming out as a trans man, his name is... 
is uh, known as formerly known as Amanda. Amanda is a man. So uh, Rowan yeah. is Ro- reintroducing himself as a trans man. Okay. Formerly known as Amanda. Okay. Knox's wife. So Amanda's wife. So Amanda has a wife. Okay. Zoe was previously known as Mark. Mark. So but he's... came out as transgender in July of 2015. So we have one of each. After transgender. 19 years of marriage. Oh my God. So were they bored? <laughs> so <laughs> like I'm tired of Netflix. Let's just come not, out as and how do you not know something? I don't know. So, um, so, but, but what I'm saying is, it was one of each, right? So one, the one woman of each came so out as the wanted yeah. to be the man, and now the man wants to be the woman. Yeah. They're so like, let's just change it up. There's going to be a test after the show. Um, God, I mean, I'm sorry. That's why I'm trying to follow. So this is where it gets even more fun. <laughs> the pair's daughter, <laughs> oh Alexis, God. God, revealed that she was transgender what? in early 2014. So is she the daughter or the son originally? I have no idea. I'm Does- lost after the first, the mother and father. <laughs> But okay. wait, it gets better. <laughs> oh, God. Rowan and Zoe, that's the parents. The parents, and then... And the daughter is Alexis. Alexis, got it. So Rowan and Zoe live with their transgender partners... <laughs> <laughs> Danny and Dame in the same Toronto house. <laughs> Danny and Dame are themselves a couple. This can't be real. Have you? Are you keeping up with this? No, I, I think I think I just lost you because no, where, where's Alexis? Is she there too? I don't know. Or he? Or she? <laughs> Maybe she's in the background saying, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> she changed her mind. <laughs> she's like, "Come back." Says okay. Rowan, which okay. is the first one that just came out. Got it. As a transgender man, right? Man, Amanda. She used to be. A, she used, used to be Amanda. Right. So okay. I had to go back and double check, make sure I had that right. Describes the unusual relationship as a polycule. A polycule. So poly is, of course, multiple. There you go. What's cule? I have no idea. Okay. Fair enough. Um, Let's move on. That's how we roll on this show. <laughs> <laughs> he said he previously shared his delight at realizing he was non-binary before coming out as transgender and told Pink News, trans joy is infectious. There's a there's a Pink News? I guess I'm so. I'm sure that's a, a high quality person. credibility. Pink News. Okay, so you have a, you have four transgender people living together with a, a young, does it say how old poor Alexis is? It didn't say, <laughs> okay. no. I'm um, assuming she's got to be like a teenager. There's a, there's a shirt that uh, Rowan is wearing oh. I have to grab. It says, trans dudes are hotter. Would that throw you off? <laughs> if you walked over here in that, and what if we did a show where we both had like that shirt and we just didn't say anything about it the whole show? <laughs> <laughs> We're just sitting here doing the show and just like nothing. It's like trans dudes. That's real. So yeah, nothing's I that wrong was with being a trans dude. By the way, I'm just not at all. Okay. I want that T-shirt. So the <laughs> trans men do it better. So the point of this story is that there are a bunch of trans people just living together, and no, no one knows what they are. Like, who's poking who? How do you figure that's, that out? That's what I mean. You start just kissing. One big, it's like, like... It's just one big, like, a hole, just wherever we can find a hole. Are, are parts still there? I, yeah. I don't want to keep reading into this. See, that's yeah. the point. Did, what, I mean, how many have had the surgery? You need to be better researched <laughs> for a story like this. Can you believe that? You can't just toss this at me without full detail. Who's got what? Who's yeah. still playing Who with a what? sword? How old is Alexis? Because if they say she's like 10, I'm going to freak out. Well, it says it was back in... This story just came out, and this was back in 2014, so... Okay, well, let's... That's at least, well, but, what, but, eight but, years but ago? But she was still trans ago? back then, so I'm just saying... She came out as trans back then, so hopefully well, I'm she's... I'm hoping she was at least... In the 20... I mean, man. the pictures of these this couple, they look... If I had to guess, they probably early... Oh, you're seeing pictures. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a picture of four of them on here. That's okay. Great. I um, might have to take a look at that. Okay. Kind of, I'm trying to see which one has the Adam's apple. So, and doesn't. <laughs> All four of them. <laughs> so, so you don't think... This is, so Alexis, poor Alexis Shit. isn't on there. And the reason I'm going to this is because I just feel bad for anybody that's like the kid in this environment. Because what the fuck? You're just trying to like live and, and grow up through puberty and into adulthood. And you, what, you come home and this is what you're coming home to every day? Anyway, so I feel for Alexis. I'm hoping she was at least like almost 18 or something, but 
Uh, anyway, uh, Trey, that's the, that's <laughs> a fucked up story. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm just reading through oh, this to make sure man. I read it properly. No, I, wow. I, I don't think it, like, would anybody know if you were like, well, she was actually the he versus the he. Like, the point is, is there's a bunch, tons of people who have no idea what they are and everybody wants to bang and uh, there's a kid involved. So there's a picture of Alexis on here. Oh, okay. And she looks absolutely miserable. I feel mm. so bad. Um, She's probably so- forced. Are seen above participating in the Microsoft video series titled My 24 Hours. So it didn't say... Oh, okay. It does say how old she was. Oh, oh God. Whoa. No. How old do you think she was? Well, I'm telling you, it's going to disappoint me, right? You, you're telling me it's going to disappoint me? So anything less than 16 will disappoint me. Okay. So yeah. She came out when she was in the sixth grade. Um, she That's came 11. out to her parents. Yep. As transgender. That's uh, When she was just 11 years old after sending them an email. Mm. God, this is a whole another topic. You know, this is a whole another show. You know, but if I get the dates right, she came out as transgender first. Zoe, the mom, came out in 2015. <laughs> Do you think like <laughs> she inspired them? She's like, well, she is. So she seems pretty happy. Yeah, but well, you know, but then again, the only thing that we need to know, and then we'll move on from this story. <laughs> Is, you want to move on? Well, I want to move on because <laughs> until I know who has their hoo has and pee pees, who hoo's and hee hees, well, yeah, until I know that, it means nothing. Oh, because they also if, have two sons, but I guess they're no, they're, they're way still gone. Sons. They're like <laughs> they're like we're fucking out of here. They, they have adopted parents. You want to cut what off? <laughs> yeah, we're not messing with this. That's the point, though. Is like if they still all have their normal or not their you know their their original parts, if you will. That were assigned at birth. That were assigned at birth. <laughs> then, uh, then this thing becomes different. And if, but if all of them are all of a sudden saying, "We all want to go through this," then it gets interesting. <laughs> if they it's have crazy. Like, all their surgeries in the same month or something like, it's, yeah, okay, yeah. Thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> God, <laughs> I can't tell which which one was better. The <laughs> I started reading that. And I was like, "Oh my God, this is." Yeah. Super interesting. No, that's there. definitely this show material. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sure. Um, and I don't mean to make jest of of what we talked about last show. I mean, we had a, a wonderful guest who was very brave to come in here, uh, M, and we talked some serious stuff. But what Trey and I are proud of, or at least what I'm proud of, I don't know what Trey's proud of, but uh, besides his karate, his stick whacking uh, championship. You were the state champion, right? Yeah. Yes, of, I was. Uh, time, whacking yeah. your stick. That's why you're going to lift to 200. I, I did not. Def- <laughs> now we know why I'm the stick whacking <laughs> champion. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you're talking about karate. I didn't know you were talking about karate yeah. or taekwondo. Uh, I, I don't it, do taekwondo. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, you know, taekwondo. But uh, but we had you know a very serious. Uh, anybody that listened, anybody that hasn't listened, we we talked a lot about Hamas. We talked a lot about. Um, uh, the Palestinians and, and this whole mess. It's, it's just, a, it's a mess. It, there's been a lot of that in the, in the history of the world. <laughs> if, if my brother Chris was here, it was a very, very uh, war, specifically World War II, as we learned, enthusiast, yeah. he would tell us more. I won't do that. He still you. tells us more. He still tells us more. In fact, when is your, is your call coming up soon, your nightly uh, factual call? He told me I better be on time this time. Your Zoom call. He's got his spreadsheets ready to roll. I had to write a paper. <laughs> you had an assignment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you had like a term paper and shit. <laughs> Research. Do you need me to help you with your uh, uh, my. your uh, uh, source your source page? Uh, anyway, your bibliography. <laughs> I'm, more, I'm reading that book called World War II for Dummies. <laughs> I've read it 16 times. It doesn't help. It does it, not have any pictures in it anyway. either. <laughs> so... We did a serious topic, and, and and I think I think there was like once or twice. If you remember, I try. I was try, like I couldn't stop. There was something small. I kind of smiled, and then I was like, I shouldn't be smiling, and I did smile. And I shouldn't smile. And, yeah, and it's just not what we're used to. So so bear with us. We'll we're, you know we we really like that we did that show, and we'll do more of that as you know when things happen and and when we can learn. The title of the show, uh, you know, that I put out was uh, to listen and learn that we put out was to listen and learn was the first part of it. And that's that's what we want to do ultimately. 
but we also want to have fun and that's what we're doing tonight. Yeah. Uh, we, I needed it. Uh, don't get me wrong. I loved listening to M talk and learning from her. Yeah. I still, I still want to know for anybody that's wondering, um, just because we had M on doesn't mean that I'm sitting here like, you know, screw the Palestinians. I just can't do that because I don't know enough. Yeah. It wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't be fair. But everything that she told me, I can probably say fuck Hamas. And if Palestinians are allowing Hamas to be there, then, then that then that makes things a little bit different. Yeah. So we'll get into all that. But I mean, I just wanted to go ahead and say, as we we're laughing about <laughs> a house filled with people who don't know whether they want their penis or not. Right. That we're able to do both. And I hope that people that really uh, enjoy this show uh, appreciate that and, uh, and, and, and like, like all of it and let us know. I say, I've said Please, it. Yeah. How many 50, how many shows in? And, I've, and I always say it, just yeah. let us know. Uh, I'm getting tons of feedback on, uh, on YouTube and, and all these places and we lo- and I love it. So keep it going. Um, speaking of, uh, this was a, a, one of our famous segues. Really fast, Trey. Did you know, of course, now they're calling for, and M's not here, so I, if I chuckle, I'm not going to get <laughs> in trouble with M. But the idea of now a ceasefire for the Ga- for Gaza for Gaza Strip. So they're pushing Israel well, to? Well, they're, they're pushing Israel, everybody. Well, not everybody. The people that want the ceasefire are saying, all right, Israel, you've... <laughs> You've fuck, done enough. You've come back. You've let them know. You fucked them up. It's, you know, whatever. There are hostages now involved. Uh, if you go into the, if you fire into these tunnel systems, you know, they're gone. That's why I asked him that hard question that she had a difficult time answering. Admittedly, she did such a fantastic job, but the, I don't, I don't know how, I, I don't know how anybody would answer that question. Yeah. If you had that, if you had, you were in charge of the button that said, hey, if there was a button that say, hey, all the hostages die, but but we get rid of Hamas once and for all. Right. Oh man, I can't even I can't even think about it. So no, they're calling for ceasefire, and of course you've got one side. I hate to say one side because I am finding that it is a little bit mixed, which is it's almost refreshing. Which is I, odd. sorry, I don't mean to no, I, interrupt. Who's they? They they just uh, uh, news publications. Like other countries or no no no. Uh, uh, I'm talking about the United States. Fuck other countries, Trey. I got gotcha. you. Do that. I don't care. What so France. United States is saying, "Hey, care, chill out." Care what France thinks about this? No, I'm kidding. Uh, France, I love you uh, and your cheese and your bread. Um, but the United States, there are. are this is what in, in my. I don't, I don't want to go too long with this, but really fast. My issue with this country is that a lot of politicians and a lot of people who are into politics and whatever are they look for they look for opportunities like this to go which side should I be on which side should I back and then hopefully everybody listens and hopefully I can get support and garner support and in this case and 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 I said it the other night with him here I think the left side is very pro palestinian they they seem to be more about the the victims the ones that are the weakest the ones that are sitting here going, we've been raped and pillaged for these many years and we're not going to take it anymore. So uh, Hamas now defended us or they, they took over and then whatever the Israelis are going, well, that's not, you know, it's just a, it's a, it's a, he said, she said. And so I feel like what's happening now is that you're seeing all these press conferences from politicians, from uh, uh, news anchors, from people going either cease fire or don't cease fire depending on which side they want to kind of be on, you know, whatever. So I think that we're both, are we both in agreement that we're right now on the it's war? You attacked a country, uh, there, there are no rules. I, I'm not calling for a ceasefire. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not sitting here saying I'm uh, 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 fuck Palestine but I'm, uh, uh, and the Palestinians, but I'm also not sitting here saying pro-Israel no matter what, but I'm telling you, you attacked Israel. You get what you get. Do you think that's harsh, or do you think that there should be a ceasefire at some point? Well, I mean, I guess if these these stories that we've been hearing about and seeing and stuff like that, I don't understand how how you could do something so heinous and then turn around and say, "I'm." It's almost like I'm, I'm just yeah. 
I was just kidding. I apologize. Yeah. Let's hold off. So it's like, you have well, I to don't assume. think it's I don't think it's Hamas that's saying the, these things. They're not calling for a ceasefire. I mean, yeah. I mean, they probably want it, obviously, because they're getting bombarded. But I, it's not them. It's yeah. everybody else that thinks that they have some sort of a, a say. Go ahead. I mean, that, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm just saying it. I don't think it's Hamas saying it. But how can anybody justify what Hamas did? And that was what I kept pressing with M. Is that I, that's where I'm with her. So, and, and maybe I'm ignorant here, but did back when, after 9-11, when we went over to the Middle East, did the, did people come out telling us to cease fire? Um, and that's where I disagreed, actually. M thought that people were telling us to, to go ahead and go and go and go. Yeah. And I don't think that was the case. And I, I didn't press it with her, but, but I'm going to tell her now that she's not here. <laughs> She'll probably listen to me like that asshole. But th that's bullshit because we were told by so many countries, not here, this country was like, F go get them. Right. But other countries, you know, I keep saying France, <laughs> France, and Germany, all these countries were like, hey, t tap the brakes. I know you're upset, but let's not, let's not be rash. Let's not go and just start bombing. Well, guess what? When this happened and Hamas bomb you know, attacked, the next, it wouldn't even, I don't think it was even like eight hours. And, and, and I could be a little... They were already retaliated. But it was like, Israel's like, here we go. And... I, go ahead. Now, I was going to ask, is, I mean, is there any benefit to us telling them to stop other than us trying to look like we're, we care? Well, I think that, I think the issue is that Israel, even though they're, they're pretty strong themselves, uh, pretty stable... They are very uh, supported by the United States, and that's what I was also telling him. And she didn't quite get what I was saying, but look, bottom line is that you know we're we're happy with what Biden said. Well, yeah, because this country has always been about Israel. We put Israel where they are. You can't sit there and be like, "We did this," and then be like, "Well, I, I kind of agree. You guys are in other people's land. <laughs> we put you there." And so this country has always supported and, and honestly, probably this is where people that know a lot more about it than I can come at me, tell me. But in my opinion, I think we have almost made Israel as powerful as they are. We have always financially backed them. We've always helped them with weaponry. We've always helped their programs to uh, their, all, all their innovation and everything that they do there. And it's great. And they've taken advantage of it, which is what people should do. Uh, we're getting help. Let's. Let's do it. And so they did. What they're claiming now and M saying is that they tried to offer the same thing to the Palestinians in Gaza and said, hey, here's here's the land. You want the wall. Let's split up. Do your thing and flourish. Right. That's what she's claiming. I don't I don't I don't I don't know the truth. I wasn't there. And I don't think that's gonna be on our world tour anytime soon, Jay. Uh, no. <laughs> so um, hey, can everybody explain what happened? I just can't see us. I don't know if I even want to fly over it. We put on our, our safari outfits. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so and so it just it just becomes this whole. I, I, it's just a mess. It's just who uh, we've always defended Israel. We're always going to do this. We're going to be there for them. And I get that, but that still doesn't justify. In what M was saying, I've said M a million times. The specific treatment. The the cutting off of limbs of children, the burning, the I mean, come on, I mean these are types of things that she kept trying to say like we wouldn't do those things because it's almost like a code of war. Yeah. And and I know that there is something to that, and I know that we we feel the same way. But and again in war, I do. So you can't attack Israel and 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 not only attack them but attack them with that type of brutality. And, and not expect pushback. Right. And so anyway, bottom line is what's happening is that the, the ceasefire people are, uh, it seems to be a majority of the people in the country, and uh, I'm seeing that also on our likes on YouTube. Uh, the majority are uh, pro-Israel right now because they feel like Israel got hit. And you've got a lot of pro-Palestinian people that are saying, hey, but this is for the last 50 years of, uh, of our abuse. And this is what's happening, and you're just hearing one side. Okay, fair enough. So <laughs> this guy today, and I don't mean to laugh, 
but it's a CNN guy, and I just kind of like Fox in a way. But CNN just, I just feel like they're just, uh, I don't know. I feel like they have an agenda, and like no matter what happens, they're gonna do it no matter what. But this guy Van Jones, have you heard of his name ever? Is that the one that's <clears throat> dating Simone Biles? <laughs> he plays safety for the Packers. Okay. And he's a, and he's a CNN. Oh, no, I still haven't heard him. <laughs> CNN anchor. <laughs> no, Van Jones is a he is a big he is a, a tall black man that works for CNN. Which I don't know why it makes it funnier to me. And here we go. I'm not holding back, but it does. So he gets up there and he's like, and he's actually pro uh, Nazis fire. Don't stop firing. Okay, which is interesting because I feel like the left is more sympathetic to to Palestinians. And he gets up there and he goes, <laughs> we need to take a stand against Muslims Oh, as a whole. <laughs> oh, shit. This isn't about Muslims. This is just about Palestinian, a Palestinian extremist group. Not all Muslims. <laughs> oh, no. So can you imagine this guy? Like all everyone... Because everyone's like, uh, no, uh, 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 no ceasefire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Like, <laughs> he's not running for office did anytime he just, soon. Did he just really say, like, even if they kind of agree, they're like, uh, oh, that's kind of not what you're supposed to say. So that happened today. So you're getting a lot of these things for the no ceasefire. And it's being yelled. And, and the people that are saying we need a ceasefire are getting over. They're getting yelled at by the crowd who starts, they start to chant no ceasefire. So it's pretty crazy right now. I mean, it's just like, you know, everybody, it's almost like Americans. I, mean, I hate to say it about, about us, but it's like we like, you, know, you, you mess with somebody, you can get bombed, you can, you can get bombed the hell out of. Well, I guess, is there a reason why we need to, to stick our nose into it? That or, may be the best question of all, Trey. I mean, do we wait until a certain point? Or well, it's because we're invested in Israel, in my opinion, okay. honestly. Uh, now, Anne was trying to tell us that that we we give aid to Palestinians, and I don't, I don't, I've never heard that ever. Yeah. Seems ever. like we give aid to everybody, though. Well, don't we? We, uh, but I need to look more into that. And if she just means the Gaza Strip area, uh, there are Israelis living there too, which the, the Palestinians are claiming that are the Israelis are controlling it. Gotcha. And abusing them there, even though that's the land they supposedly uh, uh, were given. Right. So it's a mess. So fuck that. Let's not. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Oh. It's. <laughs> I mean, I just wanted to mention the ceasefire. I want to keep talking about it as it happens. But again, we had somebody with some credibility that had experience with the family. I mean, that talk about the sirens and the kids and it's crazy. Is crazy. And some of the stuff she talked about and the way it happened. If you are a Palestinian and you're listening to this and I have one one young lady in mind but anybody besides her we we want to talk to you too right I would say so yeah I I, I want to talk to you I want to hear hear your thoughts about you know listen to the episode with with him on there listen to to what we're saying right now and, and and try and educate us if we don't know yeah but I haven't had a lot of it I've had I've had a lot of people go you don't understand, and then I never hear hear back, and it's like, well, okay, fine. I'm sorry I mentioned this first or this last or this whatever. And, yeah. Uh, but deep down, it'd be like you just said, it'd be very easy for this country just to be like, who gives a shit? Fuck you. Have fun. Figure it out. Yeah. And no one is, and everyone's kind of taken aside. So um, we'll keep up with it. How about that? Hopefully, it ends soon and. <laughs> And I don't mean to laugh, but it's just like, it's kind of like saying, I mean, the conflicts, it's been going on for so long. It's yeah. just like, we hope it ends soon. Well, I just hope that there's, there's some sort of a, of a, you know, this side, okay. It's kind of a, apparent that this side is, is who we need to be going after here. Yeah. Like, let's all get together and, and decide that Hamas is, like, we need to get rid of them. Like we did with uh, Al-Qaeda and, and ISIS. Yeah. Uh, if they, in fact, aren't as bad as what the Israelis are saying or is what, what I've been hearing, then we need to we need to understand that as well. So right. we just need to figure out what direction to take, really, right? Seems fair. <laughs> So how many times this week have you big owed? Never mind. Let's you know no. 
Because <laughs> um, <laughs> I really... I'm working as as on I, one right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do football picks. We, You know, Trey and I didn't do these for like three weeks. I don't think weeks. we should do football because, picks anymore. <laughs> uh, Trey, Trey Shorebet uh, picks of the week. Uh, you know, he's now 0-5, right, Trey? think so so if you look at it one way you say all right if i go if i went against everything he said i would be five and oh <laughs> see and i told you to bet against me me it's a little more complex see i thought i was three and two trey's claiming two and three you don't know what you're going to get with ryan but with trey if you bet opposite you are going to you win gold. he is literally not one <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> All right, so we won't cover the last ones specifically, but it's been a while, and uh, I think we both lost. <laughs> so um, uh, to this week, this weekend coming up, you're going to go NFL again? Going NFL. Okay. Cowboys no. favored by 10 and a half. God. Championship. Every week I tell you to not pick on a game where your team's involved, but you're going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it. Who are they playing? The Panthers. The Panthers on the road. On the road. And they're favored by 10 and a half? 10 and a half. So Carolina plus the 10 and a half is the bet, is guys. the bet, right. Okay, right. <laughs> You're welcome. I actually think you guys, you better cover that because sure. Carolina sucks. Yeah. I think you and I could line up and run the ball in Carolina. We might need my uh, my two kids to block for us. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, um, with their juice bottles. And I'm going to go <laughs> beat them down with a juice bottle. <laughs> I'm going to go in college. Uh, this is an interesting pick. I'm going to go the Arizona Wildcats, Trey. All right. And they're at home, uh, and they're underdogs by only a point and a half to Utah. Utah. And people will look at this and go, that's insane, Ryan. Utah's a really good team, and Arizona's kind of whatever. Just, I wouldn't say that because I don't know. Just trust me. Okay. You, uh, Arizona's got a really good quarterback, and I watched them the last couple of weeks at night because they're like the West Coast and <laughs> nobody else is on at yeah. 1130 at night. I put those guys on, and this, they're not bad. And I'm going to go ahead and just go on a limb. One and a half. Got home, it. Home, home underdog is uh, where it's at. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm laughing because I don't want to do this next segment, but we have <laughs> But, but we have to do it. We've already started. So let's roll. Are then, you halfway um, through yet? We're somewhere. But I think there are some people, Trey, in our audience that are excited. And they're like, you know what? They don't seem to like it. They haven't heard their Meaning about yet. us. Yeah. But I think a lot of people are like, this may be not exciting, but I'm learning something. Yeah. I promise you now that people in Colorado are like, these guys are coked out. <laughs> People in Montana are like, I got to slow down because everyone's going crazy with their driving. Yeah. People are learning. Yeah. So where did we leave off with the states, the thing, the things that the states are worst at? Yeah. One thing that they're worst at. So we are on the ends. Mm. So we did Nebraska or we haven't done Nebraska? We haven't done Nebraska. So Nebraska is that first? The first in. Okay. Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> I just look at this and I'm like the fuck nebraska <laughs> least furniture i'm glad you were prepared for the show <laughs> i just looked at this well i'm just saying i'm looking the at least this furniture up. least furniture manufacturing what i thought didn't in there a place here called nebraska furniture or something oh shit yeah there sure is <laughs> nebraska furniture mart that's, it's all here but it, it says that's why it's you, not there you're not going to find anything with a made in nebraska sticker <laughs> yeah because they're doing their corn so let's move on okay next one <laughs> jesus christ so boring. <laughs> so the next one is Nevada. Okay. Uh, this yeah. kind of makes sense. All right. You have any guesses? Well, again, I started guessing like the, what the, every state's known for, but that's not what they're bad at. So tell me what they're bad at. Highest the divorce rate. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that's so that's so easy, though, if you think about it, because everybody gets married there when they're drunk and who cares and blah, 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 and then they get divorced. Yeah. Right? It says, with all with all those Elvis-officiated ceremonies and alcohol-fueled nuptials among strangers. Not even surprised. Yeah. It's, don't get Look, don't get married in Vegas, people. It might be fun, unless you just want to get married and divorce for fun. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Trey, Trey might, by his fourth or fifth. So... <laughs> I'll still be there for you, buddy, this time. You, you, you'll be at the next one? <laughs> so New Hampshire is the next one. Oh, New Hampshire. Okay. <laughs> Fewest inland waterways? 
Hmm. There's not a, it says there's not a lot to complain about in New Hampshire. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, God. <laughs> there's, yeah, because there's nothing there. I mean, I lived right next door to New Hampshire. The fewest inland waterways. Waterways. So they're just saying, like, there's no, there's no waterways, waterways that come in from, you know what? Fewest move inland on. waterways. Or move on. <laughs> next one is New Jersey. New Jersey. Oh, God. Okay. Come on. This Just has got to be good. Living in New Jersey. Um, worst for speeding tickets. Okay. Well, at least that's interesting. That's not exciting like I thought it would be. It says, says they do have a speed trap every 30 miles, the most in the country. But wouldn't you know that if you lived in New Jersey? It says so they collect $30,000 per mile in road user Holy fees. Holy shit. That's du- they're dumbasses. They, you know you have the speed traps, and you're still getting caught. Listen to this shit. If you're caught going over just 10 miles per hour over the limit, your fine will probably be doubled for racing. Oh, 10 miles? Only 10 miles per hour. I thought here it's like 30 miles or 4, 20 mi- 25 something like miles that. or something. Yeah. Because I got pulled over one time in my truck. You and don't they, say. They, uh, I'm surprised we're still alive, Trey, riding, actually, riding in your truck. Actually, I flew by the cop Jesus. that was... It was sitting on his motorcycle <laughs> on the side of the road. I went ahead and pulled over because I saw him getting on his motorcycle. And he's like, thanks for pulling over. I am, and so he hooked I am, me up. I am pro that officer because you needed to be, a, you needed a harness. I was probably going about 40 or 50 over. Oh, my God. I, I'm People, Trey used to be like insane. I've known two people in my life that I'm surprised are still alive because of their driving. And Trey is one of them. <laughs> anyway. He's just fine. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> New Mexico. New Mexico. And I definitely something don't about adobes or snakes or uh, well. Okay. Did I get one? Rattlers. Most accidental deaths. Oh. Most accidental deaths. Said accidental could mean anything too. So even <laughs> stepping well, no out shit. for for air could be fatal. <laughs> Maybe death it's himself what? found a nice piece of land over there. That last part was stupid. Um, it was cool till then. I didn't what, write it. What What did they? What do you mean? As uh, you can step out for air and die. They didn't go into specifics. That was about it. Well, that's so stupid. Okay, those are the five. Was, was that five? five? I think that was five. Was that five? Well, let's count it real quick. I hope it was five. <laughs> Two. That's five. So we did five. We Woo-hoo! did five. So we'll start with New York on the next one. I I know all of you will be unable to sleep until you find out what the next five states are worst at. Um, oh, this is stupid. So it's. Oh, did you already look? Yeah. It, it, look, I'm not going to question where Trey gets his his sources from. The concept of what we're doing for you with these states is is a is a noble cause. I think people should know. We're all about knowledge. I think once we got about six or seven states, <laughs> states <laughs> we, we were like... Second episode. Um, we got to get to Texas, damn it. Yeah, we just need to finish it. So that was good. That only took like four minutes. So we're just going to roll through them. Um, the last thing we should do tonight is self-awareness. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't have one. I don't either. <laughs> so tonight on episode, <laughs> we're not going to have self-awareness. Um, I had one. I had one. Um, don't hit your brake lights when you're 10 cars in front of you between you and the next car. Yeah. Like, you know, there's, guy, there's people that just yeah. tap their brakes yeah. and like you're driving. And so when you can't see the car in front of them, you don't understand. If they hit their brakes, you think, well, well oh, no, I need to hit mine. And then everybody's hitting their brakes, and and meanwhile you don't need to. There's no reason to. That's one I, I meant to. I meant to talk about. Just now that I think about it, I get frustrated when people fly up in the in the lane next to me just to jump in front of me, and then I look behind, oh, yeah. and there's nobody behind me. Right. And then they slow down. Oh, oh, I'm with you on that. So I'm I'm going nice and smooth, and they yeah. fly up, jump in front, slow down. I look behind me. There's nobody there. Why can't you jump behind me? Yeah. And, pe- and people that are on my ass, like, I- I'm never the guy going slow in the left lane. You know me. Oh, hey, I'm not, I'm, I'm aware. I'm, I'm never the guy that's, the other day I got caught in the right lane at, at a light because right before I was going to go through it turned yellow and I yeah. just couldn't, 
Like, I mean, and I felt, and a part of me felt bad. I was like, oh, I hope nobody behind me. Of course, the car comes up and turn signal. Yeah. And I felt bad. But why? No one else gives a shit. And I'm the only one that seems to care. Yeah. And so I felt bad. I was like, I'm sorry. And I, I almost wanted to like, like yell out the window, like, sorry, dude, which is so stupid. Yeah, you can and, wait. And so I don't know, people up my ass <laughs> on the road. Uh, with their it's cars, <laughs> uh, people. Are, you know that, that's 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 annoying. Like especially um, on road trips. Like if I go down to watch my college team play ball, which I did last week, and you get, you know, if I'm in the left lane and I'm going like 92 miles an hour to try and get around this other car, you don't need to go 99 and be on my ass. Just yeah. I'm going 92 miles an hour. I mean, how much more do you need to go? Just yeah. Know that I'm going around and back off. It, 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 things like that, just right. just little things. I feel you. Uh, um, um, I had a bunch of the same stuff we've talked about. People not holding the door. People not whatever. People. It's just anyway. We, I was I was unprepared tonight because I was dealing so much uh, research with this Hamas stuff. Yeah. That I thought that that might be a little more important than <laughs> somebody than awareness that pisses of awareness. Off. Yeah. I tell you what. I'll give you one more. Oh. <laughs> this little old lady, I swear to God, Trey, she was like 80. The other day I'm, at, I'm in, the, in the store, I'm like, oh, sushi. I want some sushi tonight. And then grocery store sushi obviously isn't the best, but if you go to a nice grocery store, it's not bad. Yeah. So I'll get some sushi. And the one I liked the best was right there. I swear to God, this 80-year-old woman cut right in front of me, grabbed it, and ran the front. Oh. Oh, I man. swear, Trey, I swear. Please tell me she really ran. So I, she didn't run, but she was moving. She was scooting. She was scooting. And I'm sitting there going, did she Did she go, oh, this guy might grab it? Or was she just in a hurry and she didn't think anything about it? Did she think? Yeah, she's like, fuck him. It was the last one, and it was it had my favorite uh, little role in it. And I, and no then I, so, so then I night? sat, no, I had got more. I, just, I sat there for 10 minutes trying to figure out what my second choice would be. Yeah. What, what's plan B? With sushi. With sushi. <laughs> At a grocery store. So there you go. There's mine tonight. A little old fucking 80-year-old lady that stole my sushi. Yeah. There we go. Hopefully she, she got sick from it. <laughs> Is that bad? Um, write us a tray. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in the gray. No, that's not bad. You know what? I wouldn't mind. It. You know, I don't need. To, I don't want her to be really sick, and I don't yeah. want anything bad to happen, but just a little. Just feel off. Just some bubble guts. Just feel <laughs> Bubble guy. Feel, feel off. Be like, I should have taken that. A from night that guy. of Hershey squirts, and yeah. that's it. That guy really probably wanted that, uh, and and I took it from him. Yeah. So, he, yeah, here you go. Anyway, it was nice to come back and have a little bit of, a, of, of laughter, and I hope you guys did too. I hope you laughed a little bit. A smidge. It's not hard to laugh at our headlines and our stories and whatever. And, right. And if I swear to God, if you want to go look and see, uh, what we're able to do and the variety that we have and the range that we have, yeah. go listen to the last show and go listen to this show and you'll see exactly what we try and do. Yeah. And, um, you know, I had fun again, uh, a little bit of serious and, and I hope that the Hamas Israel, uh, Palestinian conflict. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't have a, I don't think it's going <laughs> to, I think we're going to be, giving quick updates on this like every every day but if the palestinian listener and she knows who she is if she's listening if she sees any of the clips that i put up uh we'd love to talk to you too and i promise that we're not um going to treat you unfairly and um we will respect anybody that comes on and talks um to a point um, except my brother Chris, who needs to just shut the fuck up about <laughs> World War II. Uh, I'm joking, Chris. I love you. And uh, <laughs> I, I was just wondering about World War II uh, yesterday. No, I wasn't. No, no. Were you? You? Don't were you? You shit. have your call. So uh, no, we need to go. Yeah, we need to go. All right. We'll see you on the next one. Love you guys. Later. Imagine if the headline of Taylor Swift came out as a transgender woman and 
Kelsey came out as a transgender man? <laughs> well, they definitely get the airtime. That would be some shit. I was wondering if what would happen if Taylor Swift <laughs> killed Travis Kelsey with a hockey skate. <laughs> Ow! Damn, that would be an interesting song. <laughs> I didn't even get that part. <laughs> Forgive us. <laughs>